So today we're going to go over an 820-3330 motherboard. This is for an A1286 2012 machine and it appears to be dead. We're going to try and figure out why it's dead. We don't have a light in the charger and it's taking 0.065 amps. So we're going to go down the list of power rails and see what's present and what's not. I'm kind of curious to see if PP3V42 was present since I don't have a light. It seems like I can get PP3V42 on this inductor over here. So it looks like we have one volt on PP3V42. And what we're supposed to get on PP3V42 is 3.42. It's a 3.425 volt power supply. So the first thing we're going to do is see if it's missing because of a short circuit to ground. That could always be the case. We could have a short circuit to ground that's causing it to not work. So it looks like we have a 1.9 ohm short to ground on PP3V42. We're going to inject some voltage. All right. Now we need to put our positive jumper on our PP3V42. In a moment, we should be able to tell what's getting hot. Is it the ISL chip? Doesn't seem to be the ISL chip. Is it the system management controller? Doesn't seem to be the system management controller. Is it the PCH? Doesn't seem to be that. Something should be getting warm. It is taking up two amps. Maybe it's the actual regulator itself. We're going to thermal camera it because I don't feel like soaking the board today. I think we need to resolder the DC jack on the thermal camera. This thing's 900 bucks and that thing died already. Okay, so it seems like something's broken in this bottom left corner over here. And I got to make sure to move this very, very slowly since the DC jack and the thermal camera that I've turned on like 10 times has stopped working. Hey, now it's putting out zero amps. What? Did my short burn out? My short burned out. Yeah, this, this entire left corner is only one degree hotter than the rest of the board. What? The, it's, it's turning on. What? Where's my short? I burned out my short. Okay, so we know it was something in the bottom left corner because that was the area that was most nasty looking. So now we got to go hunting in that area because that's definitely going to happen again. Wow, in the time that it took for this piece of crap thermal camera to turn on, the short actually burned its way out of the board. Hmm. Shut up, thermal camera. Now that the thermal camera is boot looping. Let's see if we can find out what this is. So it seems like PP3V42 shows up on this inductor, and this inductor doesn't look very nice. It looks a little burned. Yeah, and we have 0.3 volts on one side of this inductor, and 3.42 on the other. So the short is going to be on the other side of this inductor, on L6400. And this is for audio. This is actually a really common short on the A1278 models. So in the A1278 models, there is a capacitor that winds up dying, and it's for the audio circuit, and it's along PP3V42. It's sitting right under that little foam piece on the bottom left side of the board by the battery indicator LED, and you can't see that capacitor to see that it's shorted because it's covered under foam. Now we know where it is. You can see that whatever's on the other side of this is going to be nasty. And if we go to the schematic in the board view here, it's going to be one of these capacitors or the actual audio IC itself. So so C6410, C6400, or C6405. All right. Let's see. Am I taking off the audio I see with the chip, or is that just the folding? Oh, thank God that's just folding. All right, so I'm actually just going to replace all of those. My job title is bum. Let me tell you a little story, a joke behind the bum story. Everybody on my mom's side of the family who were Italian hated my dad and my dad's side of the family. But just, just because. So my grandma got Alzheimer's in the early 2000s. And by 2009, 2010, she didn't recognize her daughter, her son, anybody in her family. She didn't know what her name was. She didn't know where she lived. She was completely out of it. No brain whatsoever. And I was in the room and she always used to say over the phone to my mom when she was well that my dad was a bum. I remember being at my grandma's house. This was about six months before she died. Completely out of it, brain dead. She didn't recognize who I was. And she went to smack me when I walked in the door because she thought that I was a burglar. She didn't recognize my uncle, who was her son, because she thought that he was a burglar. She had no idea who anybody was. And then I said my dad's name. I said, Stu. And she goes, boom, boom, boom. I just found this hilarious. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know who her kids are. She doesn't know where she lives. But... That just pure old school Italian hatred for your in-laws managed to survive enough through 11 years of Alzheimer's so that she was able to yell, bum, when I said my dad's name. So in my family, we have an inside joke when somebody asks, what is your job? So I, I joke, and when my dad is asked by people, what do I do? He says he's a bum, just like me. But there's that story, so...
Yes, my job is that I'm a bum. Anyway, gotta love having Italian in-laws. So what I'm gonna do here is remove C6410, C6400, and C6405. I just fixed the 3115 today with no Ethernet. U3900 just died randomly, no liquid. Like, who uses Ethernet? I use Ethernet. I only get 30 to 40 megabytes a second over Wi-Fi AC, but I get... However, I can get... I, I can stop it. I can get the actual 100 megabytes a second on wire. So if I'm transferring the videos that I record here to my laptop to edit, I plug that in because I want to be able to go at full speed. Uh. So. Ta-da! And it works. So that's it for that board. And as always, I hope you learned something.